Yeah, then starting to sizzle a little bit. Hi, I'm Kate Harrison, the author of the Ultimate 5-2 Diet recipe book, which is full of inspirational ideas, tips, success stories, and of course, recipes to help you follow this fantastically healthy lifestyle. Today, I'm going to share one of my favorite recipes. Lots of sweet-toothed 5-2 dieters rely on low or no sugar jelly to help them get through the day. They have a bit of a snack attack but with just a little bit of preparation, you can turn an ordinary jelly into something really quite gourmet. So this is my elderflower jelly with berries and mint. I start off by heating up some water with either 75 grams of sugar or the equivalent in sweetener. It depends how you feel about sweetener, but if you use sweetener, you can get a really, really low calorie result. So I've heated this up. I'm going to add to it some gelatin leaves, which I've soaked already in the water. You can also get vegetarian equivalents. So you give it a good squeeze. It feels really strange. And then you put it into the bowl and it melts really, really quickly. Have a look and you'll see pretty soon how it's melted. Now I'm going to add some cordial. This is pear and elderflower cordial, but you can add pretty much any flavour you like, including raspberry, it's really nice. You need three tablespoons, and all you're going to do is mix it in with the gelatin, water and sweetened mixture. It's a really subtle flavour, but it is super delicious. And that's your jelly pretty much prepared. Now we're actually going to put the dishes together. This makes four portions and I've got four glasses. You can make these in any glass at all or even Tupperware if you want, but they look really pretty in martini glasses. So all you're doing is putting a nice fruit. I've got a mix here of blueberries and raspberries into the bowl, about a quarter of what you've got here. So you're just really dividing up the fruit into four. You might even end up with an extra glass. Get the prettiest fruit you can find. I've poured the jelly mixture into a jug because that way I'm less likely to spill it. And all you're doing, pouring it into the glasses. It might float up a little bit. It's not the end of the world. And for a finishing touch, because it's summery and it's got that lovely British summer feel to it, we're adding a few mint leaves. Very nice. One more bit of mint. Look the prettiest of all. Do the four, put them in the fridge and then be patient for two whole hours because that's roughly what it will take for them to set. 